Welcome to the Hollywood Raw YouTube page, guys. We're happy to have you here. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave us comments, do all the stuff. What are you waiting for? Let's go. I got a drug addiction to feed. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Group Text Hollywood Raw Combo episode. I'm Dax Holtz. I'm Melissa Rivers. But okay, we got to first of all explain why we're here. What the so hell we're doing together. We got two passes, VIP passes to BravoCon. And I, I'm a solo act, but he's, he's a group. <laughs> and tell them where Adam is. Well, Adam is at, I think it's... Porn con or erotica con yes. or something ridiculous this weekend. So we decided to team up. Team up, and we were going to cover Bravo Con. And boy, did we! And we're sitting on the ground right now, recording this podcast. We just spent all of Friday, all of Saturday. Yep. It's Saturday evening right now. We are exhausted. We're sitting on the ground because we've been we, going nonstop. I think between both days, we've probably done oh, about twenty hours on the floor. One hundred percent. 10 hours each day. And so so this is this is honestly <laughs> yeah. thank you by the way for inviting me to do this with you and because it you was for, so much fun. Oh, and thank you for doing it with me. Yes, Melissa, I could have done it alone. Melissa's like, "Hey, I've got an extra VIP pass. Would you like it?" I'm like, "Uh, yes." <laughs> I don't know why I would ever say no to that. So, yeah, we we met up out here and uh Friday is when everything, everything kind of started. started. And we gave ourselves a mission. Mhm. Mm which was to see how much free stuff we could get. And it's so I think we need to explain that it's not a normal convention where you go and they just give you free no, shit. This we, is every housewife, every Bravo celebrity is hawking their goods. goods. So that's why it made it even more of a mission. More of a challenge. We didn't <laughs> want to pay for anything. And then there were also regular vendors mm -hmm. who were just selling like products that people who watch Bravo would want. Exactly. So this was our mission. We made it our mission mm -hmm. because, listen, if you just walk around and interview people, that's not as exciting. No. So we're going to walk you through exactly how our whole weekend went, all the celebs we met, all oh, the yeah. craziness of sneaking into areas that we weren't supposed to be in, and just oh, yeah. the debauchery that was, uh, was our and Melissa yeah. taking over BravoCon. But the best is the fact that we ended up places we never should have been. No, and I'm pretty sure if they would have known we were there, they would have kicked us out of the whole place. Well, I everyone's like, "What are you doing here?" I'm like, "Oh, we're doing we're doing stealth footage. <laughs> I'm like, we're doing stealth coverage." And everybody's like, "For what?" I'm like, "Oh, our media company is doing a bunch of behind the scenes footage, and so they've sent us in stealth." <laughs> and everyone's like, "Oh, wow, really? Well, really? That's really cool." Not a single person ever actually looked at our passes to make sure we were in the right areas. No, so. no one looked for so, our credentials. Like, so when I say we have VIP passes. VIP only gets you to a certain spot yes. in this place. You get yes. to go like to a bar and you, get, you get to charged. go in early, but you pay a shit ton of money you for these And remember when we went to the VIP section, we didn't, we thought, oh, it's all free mm -hmm. food and liquor. It was not, it was free sodas. Correct. So that was it. <laughs> it was free sodas. So let's rewind to Friday. Friday. And we show up, by the way, we're driving through Vegas. I'm just going to say because. Yeah just the whole yeah. day. We're driving to BravoCon, which is at the Caesars Forum. We have to drive past all of the FS1 stuff that's going on in Vegas. They have basically built, taken the streets, but built grandstands and VIP suites up and down all over Vegas. They rebuilt Vegas. Basically, it, where they've sold tickets and people can sit and watch the race. And then we kept driving by those, those VIP suites. Mm -hmm. I mean... The it, amount of money they're spending on this they, event. They said they, what, have been building for three months? Yeah. And it looks, I mean, they, they've they basically built over top of the Bellagio fountains. They've Everything. built everywhere in this entire city. It's crazy. So anyway, so we pull up to the backside of this Caesars Forum, which is their convention center. Well, first of all, we already were doing things we weren't supposed to do, like getting out of the cab, kind of <laughs> like not of the we're in the middle of the street. We're like, stop, 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 stop. Just, and we like... <laughs> Jump out. And there are I'm thousands of people when we pulled up. Unbelievable. I mean, a lines on both sides of the street, as far as you could see. People in crazy ass outfits. Crazy outfits. And what was so amazing, so we go to get in the VIP line, which mm -hmm. God only long knows how long that would have mm -hmm. taken us. And we recognize some people in the merchandise line and this in the vendor <laughs> line. 
So we jumped into the vendor line yep. like we were working a booth. Who was the first person we saw? Rec- oh, we saw Kelty. That was the first, the first recognizable person, yes. like uh, correspondent for E. e. She has. The, she's actually been on the podcast before. She has the Lady Gang, Lady Gang Lady podcast. Gang. Recognized her on the way in, and then it was like all hell broke loose. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're very fortunate because her dad, who mm-hmm. has our podcast, actually had three booths. Yep. So they have the Teresa booth. Namaste bitches. Namaste Boston bitches podcast. And then Ship Shape. No. Uh, uh, no total San- Ship Show. Total Ship Show. What, yeah, no, they and then, have three and Sandy. Yeah, they have Sandy's podcast. Sandy's podcast, but that yeah. was she was doing her, she was oh. doing her, she was doing, doing her, book. her books. Yeah. What is the other name of uh, Malia and Katie's podcast? Total Ship Show. Thirty and flirty. So they've got thirty flirty and flying. So they've got these massive booths set up in the middle of the what is it called the bazaar? The Bravo Bazaar. Bravo Bazaar. So first of all, it's divided into huge sections. It's an entire convention center. So there's like the main theater mm-hmm. where all the big panels are. That's like, that's the one you've seen all over social media yeah. where like the Vanderpump Rules guys are yeah. doing push-ups on stage. That's the first big ballroom you see when you walk yeah. in. And then there is an entire shopping room, mm-hmm. auditorium, hall, and <laughs> there were so we just kept getting all turned around. Yeah, it was it was just massive. So many different rows, but the thing is so all these little shopping booths, they have little uh, times where the, the, the celebrities celebrity. will come, show up. So there's lines down the hallways waiting waiting for these celebs to come well, out. And then off of that, there's more hallways where you can pay for extra special experiences. Yeah. So like you think your VIP pass gets you. It's mm-hmm. like, no, it got us in a faster line and yep. a free soda. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. pretty much it. That was, that was and pretty much I, it. And I was asking someone, I was just like, how much are these VIP passes? They were like almost $2,000. Yeah. And thank you to our friends at Bravo who got us these passes. Yes, thank you, thank you. So, and, and then there's them. the Bravo, and, then, and abused our welcome, for sure. We, we definitely wore out our welcome. So the whole first day, we were just seeing what we could get away with. Yeah, that was the f- sole mission is let's... Figure out what we can get free. And I will admit, we hoard me. Oh, yeah. We hoard me you out. You were whoring for some free shit. Yeah. And so, I loved it. I know. I got very fortunate that people recognized me. So they were like randomly giving us yeah. shit. And day one was much mm. calmer than day two. We'll get into day two, but like we were able to walk around. Yeah. I mean, there was, don't get me wrong, there's still a shit ton of people coming up to but you it was almost, and taking photos, yeah. but not like day two. Not which we'll get to. Uh, and then the best was we maybe had the worst food ever. Oh, it's disgusting. We had they had the worst food. Even it, the French fries were I bad. Had, so we ordered the chicken fingers, which was chicken jerky, or they were like chicken, chicken jerky, or chicken sort of hockey pucks. Yeah, it was more like yeah actual fingers of chicken. Yeah, <laughs> which, no part which of is, which is fascinating because I never knew that chickens had fingers, <laughs> but apparently they do. And then wait, someone else had like the sandwich. Like it yeah, was just it was, it was just. Oh. It and was gross. we were so hungry, we didn't and care. And that's why I realized everyone else, no one cared because they're so hungry. They're like, here's, and I think the fruit bowl was like $12. $12 for the fruit cup. It was fucking grapes, people. No, they were good. That was the best food there. <laughs> <laughs> but see, this is where we learned something new the second day, yeah. which we'll get to was where was the good food. Where was the good food. Which we eventually we, found, but. We still found too late. We still found <laughs> way too late. So well, I'm trying to remember back, if I'm thinking so, through our timeline, what was the first free thing that we got? Playing cards, right? Playing cards. We got Bravo playing cards. Now, I was hoping they were going to have like all the people's faces on mm-hmm. them, but they didn't. They just say Bravo on them. And they wow, were handing wow. those out in as you walk in. Like everybody got those. So that's where it started. Yes. And now it's ended. If you're watching us on YouTube, we have giant bags of just stuff. stuff. That's to show you. And we're going to go through it and let you know what we got. Yeah. Well, also, we have before we go anywhere, we have to show we brought our own red carpet. Which was knew, clutch, by Because the way. we knew there was going to be a lot of fashion. So whenever we would see somebody, Dax, would, we had it rolled up, right, like this, and he would just go. And it's literally a two-foot by two-foot square piece of red felt. felt. But I'm telling you, it was probably the coolest thing people love because we, no matter where they were, there's a red carpet. Red carpet. We would just said everybody came and Ever. every major Bravo star came and stood on it. 100%. And took it seriously. 
<laughs> they would well, like step on. When you like, have Melissa Rivers telling you to step, step on, on a <laughs> little red carpet, they're like, okay, this is my moment. And it was actually making them nervous. That was the funny yeah. part. Watching you talk to them and they're like, oh my God, Melissa Rivers is talking to me on a red carpet. Right. Like I got to step up my shit right now. And we have to say, everyone was so gracious. Yes. People could not have been nicer and to deal with. Even people that like you could tell they didn't have time to talk to us made time to talk yes. to us. Yes. People like to all the Bravo people like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cause they were great. Yep. Granted, they did not know what we were up to. Which I think this could be a good feature for them, honestly. <laughs> it's really like good. backstage mobile red carpets I, for Bravo. You know what? Con. I think we've come we we need to, we need to uh trademark yeah. the red felt carpet. <laughs> Can you get on that, Pat? Yeah. <laughs> all okay. right. So we got we, we got, got all the, our stuff. the that cards was first. The cards. But do we have the cards? They're somewhere. Oh, I oh I do have a pair. Oh, of, so uh, there was our cards. Kit. So, so this is what the car cards look like. Just a little black box. Right. Nothing too crazy. Nothing exciting. And then I think the next thing we got was our water bottles. Wa free water. Okay, we we had to hustle for the water bottles. The, the hustling for the water bottle. They did not want to give away the water bottle. No, it was uh, it was from like There's the. Ninja. Thirsty Ninja. Thirsty Ninja. Which Nin is part of like Ninja. And we were really hoping for like little Ninja blenders, but we had to <laughs> fight for the water bottles. And then and then I think they realized what we were doing and they were like, oh, oh yeah. Here, take a water bottle, fill our water bottle. I mean, and yeah. actually the drink was delicious. By the, by the way, way, I think my drink is still in here. And they're good water bottles. <laughs> they're good water bottles. I'm actually going to keep mine. Thirsty. Yeah, I am thank too. you, Thirsty, I, thank for you, that. Thank you, Thirsty. These were good. So that that's kind of where it started. And this is where the mission really took off. Because well, we were like, okay, we know that we can get free stuff. Now. Yeah, we know. Now, I think our next thing, however, was the Frito, the, 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 the bags, the bags, the uh, potato. Who were these? Frito, Lay's. Lay's, Lay's so potato chips. Lay's were, had a whole thing that looked like a house. And you walked in and you got to try all the new potato chips. But the line was really long. And we were all about not waiting in line. So this one goes in the back and I just, says, I said, oh, I'm sorry. I must have forgot our bags when we walked out. Can we get some bags? So the lady <laughs> comes through the exit and gives us our, our, our free Lay's bags. So that was clutch because we were like, we need to start putting stuff in our bags. Yeah, we had to start putting stuff in our bags. What else do I have? <laughs> okay, so we, we, needed, we needed stuff. Then we got, I think, was it the Paris 2022 stuff? This, no, it was the like the the makeup place. They got the sunglasses, oh, then the we fanny went to, pack. Okay, so Juvederm. Juvederm. Which is a filler that I might or might not have used in the past. Had a whole thing. like, yeah. And they had a claw game. Which where you could, neither of us None of us did well on. And by the way, you did not need to yell at me <laughs> at the claw game. <laughs> I was like, I don't understand. Just reach down and grab the thing. Okay, so then you, how well did you do? Well, my, at least I picked them up. I picked one up and it fell. I did. I picked up two and it fell. Okay, I picked up <laughs> two and it fell. But so at Juvederm, we got we got fanny packs. We got fanny packs with stuff in them. We got like a face roller. We, oh no, that was uh, uh, Nurse James. We got the pink sunglasses. No, no, we got a face roller. Oh, we got a face roller from them. I said, bring it for your wife. Yeah, my wife's gonna be so stoked so on all this that. stuff. And then we ran into who we love, Nurse Jamie, who, if you guys don't know, she's a big facial person. Is she on? The Bravo shows or something? No, and does she have a connection she, with Bravo at all? I think she just, ha she has been on QVC. I think a lot of the housewives use her. Mm. And so she had a booth there and she had a new treatment, new facial treatment set up, which I got for you. You, we, you did, you got me a free facial treatment. I'm pretty sure it's expensive. Yes. And it, it snatches your so, jawline and your, your cheekbones. Let me explain it. Cause being a guy, I'm looking at this thing and I'm like, what are you about to touch my face yeah, with? They put a little gel on. She puts gel all over my face, yep. and then she comes at me with electrodes. Like not looking, that electrodes. Well, that's what it looked like. They were like it's wands, like an and I'm like, what? It, it's like a little ultrasoundy kind uh, of it thing. It all looked a little scary, Melissa. It was not scary. I was being like, a what, big are you, baby. Well, what are you going to do to my face, excuse lady? Excuse me. Excuse me. And then you're like, can you see a difference? <laughs> <laughs> when my cheekbones started to pop, I was like, all right, maybe this thing works. But so she like would wanded like rub you. it, wanded me on my face, yep. up and down, and then my neck. Well, and then when she gave us her famous face roll. Yeah, thing. so that was like another good freebie. That's like freebie. another good freebie. By the way, I think I, I played with that thing like half the day. Yeah, too. we kept walking around massaging <laughs> ourselves. So, so then we got the James up. Then Then I oh we got free massages. Oh we got free massages. I didn't do the massage. I did the massage. You did the massage. Except my shoulders all jacked right, right. now from I the didn't... surgery. So I was like 
I kept, I, f I shouldn't even gone. And I was like, oh, lady, don't touch my shoulder. Yes. I don't want to smash, massage my shoulder right now. But then we got. We got the iPads and then we got nail nails. decals. And I got Kelly Ben Simone on my middle finger And nail. I got, um, who did I have? Dorit? You're a Dorit. I had Dorit. Dorinda. 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 I had Dorinda. Nail. That was like, I mean, so I was going to do a full set, five on each hand. Mm -hmm. And then I thought that might be a little, a little overkill. Too much. But we got those for free. But I showed off my Kelly Ben Simone to everyone that yes, asked. Yes, you did. You're like, look, it's Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> It was very strategically placed. It really was. So then what else did we get? So then, oh, then we got a bunch of Korean skin products. A woman ran yeah. up to me. She was like freaking, freaking out. Freaking out. And her daughter was working at a booth handing out samples. And she said, you have to come meet my daughter. And dragged us over. And we ended up getting full on. Tons of stuff. Full size. And the best part was so. Stuff. They're handing all this like female centric body lotions and creams yes. and every time Melissa's like uh he has a wife so if you want to go ahead and just throw some in his bag, bag too <laughs> so my wife is like uh you're gonna be her best friend basically I, thank you I'm trying to I'm trying to <laughs> and then we got I don't even remember where these socks so, came no, from no you know and then it was the booth the best booth which was the underwear booth oh the underwear booth okay so they're this company called bareback so, did these bras that are like 100% convertible, like you didn't understand it all. I gotta, and she's I gotta showing us the bras the thing. and the whole thing. And like you can move the straps to anywhere you want. And they actually look really, really cool. So we, we're like trying to get we some so, for free. But she goes, no, House, I'm getting. House of Sky yeah, is she's, the brand. House of Sky. She, they were lovely. But she was like, oh, I'm giving away free men's underwear. Well. So I got some free, free underwear. underwear. <laughs> but the, cool, the this coolest. This is where they're different. Coolest and weirdest part of this. Is the, this is where the difference is. These are no regular underwear. No. So you, here, hold that. Here, I got so this. So the underwear looks like normal briefs, uh -huh. except there is a pocket on the back inside of yep. it. And Well, and I'm such an idiot. You go, what do you keep in there? I'm like. Your key. <laughs> and she looks at me and goes, I suppose you could put a key in there. I think it's probably the last thing the people that are wearing these underwear are putting in there. Oh, I, your keys. I'm not going to lie. I tried them on yesterday. You said they were comfortable. Super comfy. Apparently that's for. Except I feel a little weird with the bareback well, across it, my that's, ass. That's the thing. She, said they're, she said they're made for like to put condoms in. And we're no, like. She said protection. I protection. Like, a knife? <laughs> Well, no, and it was just kind of like bizarre since it's called bareback. Yeah, it is. It's a little uh, again super comfy though. So <laughs> may have so to push got, past that. Yeah, but it, that was hilarious. That like bareback, and you're yeah, anyway. It was a little, a little awkward. It was a little awkward. It was a little awkward. Um, the, but that, but I gotta say, the woman who runs it, Sky, I think Sky, is her could not be nicer. Wonderful lady. Wonderful. Um, oh yeah, the Paris Bravo stuff. being part of NBCU, they were pushing Paris. In the Olympics, so they Olympics. gave out. We got um, passport, passport covers. Ho passport covers. Uh, what else? Did uh, we get? Luggage tag. By the way, where did this come from? Okay, we're gonna get to that. That was later in the day. Oh, this is the, from but, but, Yeah. Oh, okay. We got uh, luggage tags. <laughs> oh yeah, we got oh an Olympic pin. Yeah. Now the joke is these are actually worth something. I was going to say, that actually is That's actually dope. worth something. Especially since it's already pre the Olympics. People aren't selling this stuff yet. Yeah, okay. So that was one bag. So that was one bag. But and wait, there's more. <laughs> there's a lot more. There's a lot more. So was the next stop... Marla. Marlo. Was it the... Yes, it was Marlo. It was Marlo. So, so Marlo had the booth right next to Teresa. And, okay, there's a little story behind this one. So we only at that point were carrying our little Lay's bags yep. and we're walking around like this and they had shopping bags right here. And so we had the next door booth and so we're like, Hey, can we have a shopping bag? And they're like, only if you buy something. So this guy was having none of, none of us. He was he, not, he, he was not having well, fun I'm with say us. He, I don't know if he recognized you or just no. didn't give a fuck. I think it was a combo platter. Yeah. Cause later you saw him go like, you uh, realized when Marlo was like, Melissa, <laughs> and we had to negotiate a fucking bag. A fucking paper bag. Like this thing is worth 25 cents and he would not, would not give it up. Give it up. But we went back mm -hmm. when Marlo was there. Wait, and not only did we get a bag, she started throwing product everything. Everything. So, so I we, got pajamas we, with her slogan on them. Today drain me. 
right? I got mm-hmm. full pajamas. Like, and they're not like silky. They're like silky pajamas. Which are, were pretty expensive, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they, they, they were like selling for expensive. And then you got I got a shirt mask and, and a got, shirt. I got a shirt that says, mm today, today drain, drain me, me and an eye mask. And then the eye mask that says, today drain me. And then they gave us not but one, not one, but two, two bags. bags. Oh, and the squeezy the peaches. Squeezy, okay, yeah. Oh, you got to tell oh, that Oh, that was part, one too. of the things we discovered, too, when I'm like, well what's that and i pointed before we were like i'll buy something for like five bucks and get the bag and so they had these little stress balls that look like a peach, peach. so i said oh how much is that twenty five dollars for a, a squeezy peach but she did say i've been worked really, i worked 10 years to get that peach going so yeah it's worth every penny but so i got the stress ball so not only did he have to give us the bags he, she put product in them, and they gave us the stress ball. <laughs> I'll tell you, it was pretty glorifying it to be was. standing there when Marla was freaking out over you. Yes. And the guy was like, God damn it, I didn't want to give her a bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the best was, I said to Marla, I go, just so you know, your staff was amazing. Yeah. Like, they were very protective of your stuff. Yeah, which is nice. Though. Which was nice, because uh, I couldn't go. As an owner that, of a company, that's yeah, a nice thing. I thought so, too. I wanted to say, he wouldn't even give us a shopping bag. <laughs> he wouldn't even give us a paper bag. But, you know, just when you thought the day was, you know, slowing down. Oh, look, wait. Oh, here, more sample. That? that was more the skincare. Oh, skincare. Oh, stuff. and we got all those energy drink packets. Oh, she gave us, I don't know, 50. Energy, I got oh, was, here, I got some. I got some. We got, that, they that were the so Ninja nice. That was the Ninja place, right? The nin- no, this, this was, was the other place that told us to add vodka to their drinks. Oh, that's right. So we got a bunch of these from, what was it called? It is called RSP. Uh, Amino lean. Amino lean. So we got a ton of those. So just, then, oh, wait, we saw Sutton. Then we saw Sutton, that's and right. Sutton gave us a, a tumbler, and, and you got a and shot glass. I got glass. a shot glass, which was awesome. Yeah, shot glass. I can't find it, but I know it's in here it's somewhere. It's in there somewhere. It's in there. Anyway, I, I can't we got Sutton, stuff from bags. Sutton. I hear it. Yeah, I hear it rattling around. I don't know where it's at. Well. Okay, so Sutton. But then we, we thought, let's. Let's go for broke. Let's really take Let's, it up now. Like, we've gotten some cool stuff. We've probably got, at this point, I mean, there's got to be a couple hundred dollars worth of absolutely. stuff. Just these pajamas alone, yeah. we're getting us up there. Yeah. So we're like, okay, we're doing good. But we're let's, getting free stuff. Let's let's go for the touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> let's go big. And there were two booths. We went to one that were doing hair extensions. Mm-hmm. And it was, what's the booth? It's Locks and Maine. Locks and Maine. Big shout out to them. They were great. They recognized me. The huge fans. Huge fans. So I said, can I get some extensions put in? <laughs> so they gave me They gave you full, like, full early 2000, super like, long. Retro Melissa, early 2000, red carpet, major. And by the way. These are really good extensions. They're expensive. These are expensive. I got two full wefts mm-hmm. of extensions. And they looked good in. They looked good. They looked like old Melissa. And they feel like act like, they're, like, act, really they're, they're good. very they're very expensive extensions. Yeah. But we weren't done with that. So we that, had a push. So now now we're jumping up into like the four hundred dollar range yes. worth of free Stuff. goodies. So I say, he needs extensions. <laughs> <laughs> and this woman and was they fantastic. They play ball. And they say we're fantastic, and they go, "Ooh, we'll give you a mullet." Yep, and so- I got a sick blonde mullet, which was unbelievable. They wrapped it around the back of my head and clipped it in. And we realized, but it doesn't look normal. Well, it just didn't blend. Clip. So they were like, oh, "We need a hat." And they so they asked the booth next door. They, they weren't, weren't selling. They hats. weren't. They weren't selling hats. A guy is standing there with his wife, watching the chaos, and he goes. You could have my hat, and he's got a, a Kyle Cook lover boy hat. Which that he, he had just to pay. But he, yeah, he had to pay for that. He literally just bought it, and he hands it over to me, and I'm like, "Oh, this is funny for like the photo," and I put it on, and we're walking around. And by the way, the mullet looked pretty sick. It looked really good. It looked really good. You can look on uh, our social you, media and see the pictures that go with this. So I'm I'm like wearing it, and I tell the guy, "Okay, here you go. You can have your hat back." And he goes, "No, no, no." Please, keep please it. keep the hat. Like, this is so great. I love all of this. And I'm like, okay, I'll pay you for it because I when, felt bad because it's some random guy. And he was like, absolutely not. And these hats are not cheap either. No, was, they were, that's what was so extraordinary was how much everything costs. So this is where it got funny. So 
uh, Kyle Cook's like was lover like on the boy flip was side. right on the other side. So we're like, oh, let's go take some pictures with the the cutout cardboard cutouts because this me in a yellow hat with the mullet, I look just like him. You did. You it was it was alarming. Yeah. So I walk over there and Kyle Cook's people love it, <laughs> <laughs> and now they're like throwing hats at us. So we oh, got even more, more. lover oh, yeah, boy I, hats. Yeah. I, Lost mine. Uh, so oh, got yeah, this, we got like, this one. Camo. We got boy. matching hats. Matching hats. We did because you know we had to. It was. Oh, and they. I forgot to say. This. Oh, and our. What did they say? The and then, uh, the locks and mane gave us a ton mane. of stuff. Here, want to wear one? Yeah. Here. Got headbands. As if you haven't got me dressed up in enough crap this weekend. <laughs> they gave us like all kinds of like headbands, headbands and. And, but they, and they could not have been. <laughs> Nice tiara. <laughs> <laughs> they could not have been sweet. Oh, look at, like, hold on. It's Adam calling. Oh, this will be let's great. Answer. Hi, Adam. Hey, how are you? Yeah, we're, we're recording the podcast right now, so you're making a nice little uh, appearance. Oh, nice, nice, nice. What are you guys talking about? Well, Bravo, we, God. What do you think we're talking about? Uh, how's uh? I don't know if you guys are good at uh, you know, what's going on overseas. Who knows with you guys? <laughs> how's uh, how's uh, porn con? Well, I was at PornCon. Uh, there wasn't too many stars there. There were some, you know, not big stars, just little film stars. There was uh, just a lot of guys in trench coaches. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of perverts, uh. And, uh, including me. So, yeah. <laughs> Love it. All right, well, we're going to get back right, to taping. Bye. All right, so I'll see you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so... That was kind of like they gave barrettes, headbands, scrunchies. I mean, like hardcore shout out to to Locks and Maine. Yeah, they, they I mean, stocked us up. They were beyond generous. I'm thinking between the hair, all the the like barrettes and headbands. And all now, the rest, now yeah. we're probably up to six hundred dollars worth of but, free stuff. But we weren't done. No, hell no, we're not done. No, we decided also to actually buy stuff. Well, that was that was. I bought you a gift. You did buy me a gift. You bought me a sick tank top. Yep. Which, where is that? Where did that? Where go? is your tank top? <gasps> I'm a, so hurt. It's a, no, it's right here. Oh, I, I brought it. Yep. It says, hold on, we went for a shop, shopping spree. So I, I would say we what we maxed out on six hundred dollars worth of free yeah, stuff. Yeah, about. I think, which I think but by the way, someone's like, we don't need to buy anything. I'm like, oh, no, no, we are no. not finished. So we, she got me this tank top that says, what happens at BravoCon <laughs> slays at BravoCon. <laughs> Oh, and wait. And oh. then she made me put it on in the I middle know. of the whole floor. <laughs> was like, just take your shirt off and strip in front of every. Don't, don't worry about it. And, and retribution. You, and then I said, well, if I'm going to wear this, you're going to wear this super bedazzled sweater that says, Bravo, oh, Bravo, Bravo, fucking, fucking Bravo. <laughs> Which I proudly wore <laughs> all over the place. All over the place. Oh, and we forgot about. Um, our new friend, Jake from State Farm. Oh, Jake from Jake State Farm. From State Farm was there gave and us gave friends us friendship of, bracelets. Yeah, gave us free he friendship really bracelets. Free friendship. He's a nice guy, and his mom was there, which I thought was kind of funny. And very excited to meet us. And my favorite, though, was people going, that's the TMZ guy. Oh, and it's like, hey, Melissa, why is the TMZ, TMZ guy, guy here, here with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. And that was just day one. That was day one. They're going to have to come back. We're going to share more. About did, day two, but we did see who did we who see? Who did day we see one? day one? It's day all one, a blur. We saw, so we said Marlo. We saw we saw Marlo. We Is saw, it Marlo or Marlo? Marlo. Marlo. We saw Malia and Katie. Malia and Katie. We saw Teresa mm -hmm. and Melissa. Yep. And I'm trying to think who else did we see. That might have been day that was, one. That was day one because day one we hadn't got a sneaky. No. Day two was when we really got. You sneaky. know, we realized we could do better. Yeah. We cut in day two. So flash forward to day two. Mm -hmm. We walk in again. Now it's like twice as crazy. Now it's it's got to be double the amount of people. Hundred percent. Like now we're we're jostling. We're jostling through. Melissa can't take two fucking steps without somebody like oh, Melissa. <laughs> I love you. I love your mom. I love everything about you. You are an icon. Like, I, I just and every, once one starts, then it's nonstop. Another start. So we're so getting through. We're getting through. But we're like, we need a challenge today because we've already got all the free products. So yeah. what the hell are we going to do on day two? So I got a genius idea. Beautiful idea. Because it was like, we need to get interviews today. We need to get interviews and we need to get places where we're not supposed to be to get these interviews. And we had noticed that all of the Bravo celebrities were coming from a certain area. Mm -hmm. It was like a backstage area. Kind of area. So 
I say, let go. Let's walk me past another giant line. People will let's, start. Let's to, make it nuts. Let's make it nuts and go get security to get us out of there <laughs> and get me somewhere safe. So, I walk through like the biggest crowd. I know as soon as one of them goes, Melissa, like they spin, they come. Because like, that's what the camera's they, at. Yeah. Like, and, why are you here? And when it it's it's actually kind of like insane. It, it got a little aggressive. So all of a sudden, out of nowhere, in comes the security, security. guard, which we happen to go get. <laughs> And I go, oh, my anxiety. I just need somewhere to catch my breath. And so they ushered us straight Rick. to where we needed to go. <laughs> <laughs> so they took us through the double doors, doors. into the backstage, which is kind of like it's where a the, loading dock. Yeah, loading dock slash where all the food's and, being prepped. But also what people don't know is they think backstage at these things is very glamorous. And my mom always has a famous showbiz saying, no matter how big you get, you always enter and exit through the kitchen. Yep. So we're now entering and exit through the kitchen. And we start seeing people. Nonstop. Nonstop. And we realize again, they're all coming from a certain entrance. Well, so we, first we started, but like, we like walked around um, and we're like, oh, if we stop walking, we're going to get kicked out. Right. So we're, so neurotic we're like now. pacing down the back. We're like, someone's going to notice that we're not supposed to be back here. We don't have the correct credentials. No, on. We don't have the get, wristbands. No. And by the way, we're taking pictures. Yeah. So. so we're like walking up and down. I think... We ran into Marlo again. Yes. Her new, like, feathery boots. Right. And we, of course, immediately whipped out the red carpet and threw it onto the ground. And said, step onto our carpet. And she did. She was in head-to-toe runway Valentino. Yeah. And then so we walked all around. And then we found the perfect spot, which was right before they staged the celebs to go walk to the floor to go to their booths. So it's kind of like a crowded area where... We almost fit in because it looks like we're waiting to like go out there. Yeah, but also, which again, backstage stage information, all of those limos pull up at the loading dock. So everyone is coming in through the loading dock. And let me pull up my phone so I can yeah. remember all the I okay. mean, we literally saw everyone at this point. I think Oh my god, I don't even oh, let know. Me see. Oh, okay. here's my text from Fraser. So I ran into my darling Frazier, who we were supposed to catch up later. And he's like, darling, I'm finished now. What are your plans? We want to go explore Vegas. And we still haven't seen, since we haven't seen sunlight since you were around. (laughs) Since we've been around. So we were seeing everyone. Everyone. We ran into Josh Flagg back there. Heather Dubrow. Heather Dubrow. Kyle Richards. Um, We did a whole interview with Kyle. We threw the red carpet on the ground. She started talking, and then her reps were like, okay, this is not sanctioned, so we're going to take her. Yes. (laughs) But nobody asked us to leave. So all we're doing is, like, taping, taking. Making the best out of the moment. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. And then, so we ended up leaving there for a little bit because we got a little nervous and we're like, all right, let's let's get out of here. We'll go walk back. And like, if we need to get back in here, we'll try the whole security thing again, like whatever. So we go get some really bad food. We get nasty ass food. And then. then we saw Teresa. Then we saw Teresa. And And then we decided, well. What do we have to do out here? Let's 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 go back. Yeah, let's go back. So So we we staged another frenzy. (laughs) Frenzy. And they took us back again. I, I, I went over to the security. I was like, ah, it is just crazy. Can we get Melissa to the back, please? Can someone help? And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, he Got came it. over, swooped her, and went Off right we went back again. there. But this time we were not satisfied. No. So I had to use the restroom. And there was no way I was going to make it into the restroom, like, in the main area. So I asked one of the people, like, where's the restroom? They go, just go through here and make a left. And we think that it's going back, back out, out. So we're going to get caught again. Right. So now, so we walk slowly, kind of like, what are we doing? Make a left. We are now in the talent holding area where they've got a full spread of lunch. They have tables set up. Everybody's got their shoes off. Like the whole. This is like the cha-ching, cha-ching. of cha ching Yes. Yes. <laughs> like we, you, if you were a super fan, this would be your Your like head would have exploded. Garden of Eden right here. But now don't forget, <laughs> he's wearing his Bravo tank top <laughs> and I'm wearing my bedazzled Bravo, Bravo, Bravo <laughs> sweatshirt. We look absolutely fucking ridiculous. ridiculous. And they're all, and everyone back there, you know, they're getting ready to walk red carpets, yeah. do panels. So they all look 
unbelievable. Yes. <laughs> like dressed from head to toe, look glam squads, fashion, everything. stylists, everything. We look ridiculous. We look ridiculous. And everybody keeps asking us, what are you doing here? And we're like, we're shooting stealth content <laughs> and nobody questioned for who. So, so we get her to the bathroom. Right. She I, goes pee. Yeah. And I then... come back out. Well, first of all, there were two Bravo celebrities. I didn't know not happy in the bathroom. Yeah. They they, were kind they, of... Something had gone sideways and they were not pleased, but I didn't know who they were. So it didn't so matter. We walk out and I go, oh, <gasps> Melissa, is that Andy? So right there is Andy Cohen. And I go, Hey Andy. And he turns around. He's like, Oh, hi. And hugs me. Yeah, it was it was a good moment because everyone wants like five minutes from Andy. Right. Like as we were talking to him, people are walking by, waving. And there at might him. have been some video taken or a Man. few photos taken. Now again, he's in the tank top, and I'm in the sweatshirt. <laughs> but Andy was so kind. I mean, he took I think ten minutes. Ten minutes catching up. How are the kids? Blah blah blah. Yeah. You know, I even went there and said, "Wow." That bro, that Vanity Fair article was a whole lot of nothing. He's like, I know, I don't know what the big deal was. Like, I I went there. Yeah, I went there. So he went in. We kind of walked into like the lunch room. Like, oh, and we did see Sheena. Sheena, we saw from Sheena from Vanderpump Rules. We yeah. took a photo with her. We have all the photos being posted. Yeah, You'll we'll, see everything. We'll get everything up. And we go in. No one stops us. No, not no. It, when you act like you know where you're supposed to be, it's no unbelievable. One stops you. So we walk right in. And we're walking around chatting with everybody. We sit down with Captain Sandy's fiance, mm -hmm. who's and very, Captain Sandy. And Captain up. Sandy shows up, and we run into uh, we Taylor Armstrong. Taylor Armstrong was there, which, by the way, huge fan of yours. Yeah, Heather was in there. Everybody was in there. Tamara was in, in there. there. We uh, talked. To, we were we were like the bells of the ball. We were talking with everyone. Who else did we run into? I feel like there were so many there people. Were so in the, many it was people. all of Bravo in this one room, yes. just sitting at tables. And it was where they were all relaxing. Everyone had their all the women had their shoes off, and the handlers were just coming in and taking them to the different places they needed to be. Yeah. And we're just sitting there. We're like pulled up some we're chairs. We're just gawking. We're, it was the ultimate Bravo people watching. It was. Uh, it was. Again, how did they not catch us? <laughs> <laughs> so then a bunch of my old E peeps yep. go, Melissa! So now, like, I'm having this E reunion with, you know, the head of news and the head of this and the head of that. And then one of my old bosses was there and she's moved up the ranks. And I think she kind of had an out of body moment mm -hmm. because I come up and I go, hey, I'm not going to use her name. And you could see, like, it wasn't registering. Well, I think it was kind of out of place. You out of think? Context. Yeah, like she's like, what? 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 Like, Again, wearing the swing. Because <laughs> you look like a super fan of Bravo walking up to talk to her. She's like, who are you, lady? And I'm like, I turned her, I'm like, I feel like the ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we also ran into Larsa Pippen. Larsa Pippen, we caught up because, because... her, because Scotty Jr. went to high school with my son. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how's the kids? They're good. How's your son? It was... Well, and Larsa, she was probably our biggest guest that we ever had on Hollywood Raw uh -huh. because she came on right after like all the Kanye and Kim stuff. You remember they yeah. were like but having she a big dating like up. Michael Jordan's son? Yeah, son. Yeah. So that was a huge podcast for us. So I was kind of like, hey, Larsa. And she was like, oh, yeah. Like, oh. But that's the most amazing thing is everybody acts like everybody knows each other, yeah. even if they don't. 100%. 100%. I mean, people were waving at us like, you know, but the best is still, I cannot believe that we did not get thrown out wearing all the fucking swag. Yeah, we looked dumb. We looked ridiculous. And everybody today, what are you guys doing? We're like, shh, we're getting- sure, we're, we're like, can you not make this a thing? Because yeah. they're going to notice we're, like, we're not we're, supposed to be And here. even my old boss, who is now the head of NBC University, goes, what are you doing here? I go, you know, we're getting, con we're getting, you know- Content. We're, we're like, we're doing stealth content. She's <laughs> like, oh, I'm so happy you guys are doing that. <laughs> <laughs> it was so silly, was so but silly. we had so much fun. We and did. then I feel like we ran into probably like 10 more people that I'm They're forgetting not, names. But we are going to, we're posting everything. We're posting everything. I would say that I feel like if we do this again next year, that I need to watch more Bravo because there was a lot of people there that I'm like, I, they look famous or someone recognized. I don't know who they are. But okay, there are a lot of housewives. There's a lot of shows. There's a lot of shows. Like I, Josh Flagg is a friend of mine. I did not know Josh was going to be there. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I'm like, I saw Shaw's of Sunset people. I never, we never even saw them. I saw, I saw them at the like lobby of the Delano because 
this is obviously recording after BravoCon, but the the Delano was like the hot spot this Except weekend. Except for the one better. The Four Seasons? The Four Seasons. Four se- I would say Four Seasons, Delano, no. and Mandalay Bay. It was the place where everyone was staying. Yes. So yes. we would walk through the halls. I was seeing the Shaw's Sunset. I saw... I saw all the housewives. Everyone's like, Melissa, Melissa. Yeah, I'm like, it, it, what am I doing you here? You see everyone. Yeah. So I, I even told a couple people, I was like, if you really want to see people, head over to these hotels. And then there's a number of them that like think they're like raw buds. And you know what I think I, I've gotten and some that of them, I do have relationships with some of them, as do you. And I think the other part is they recognize you and they can't remember, like, at least for me. They, they know do, who no, you no, are. Not necessarily. But, like, people will recognize me and they can't remember where from, so they're just, like, immediately, like, oh, we must be friends. Yes. And they're just like, hey, how are you? How have you been? And, a lot of elevator conversations. Yes, a lot yes. of elevator conversations. But I think one of my favorite moments were when people started screaming, that's the TMZ guy. <laughs> <laughs> no name. No, TMZ guy. TMZ, TMZ guy. guy. But there, there was quite a few fans of our podcast that would come up to oh, us yeah. and say, oh, my God, I love your guys' podcast. It's so great. Like, And let's be honest. The first day we wore our own merch. Yes. <laughs> we did. Okay. We did wear our own merch the first day. I mean, so we kind of invited the uh, the podcast yeah, love, which was pretty awesome. But I, it's nice to run into people when they love your work, which is really yes. cool. Just. They enjoy whatever shows you've been on, podcasts that we've done. Like, yep. I think it's cool to run into, like, super fans. It there. was. And it was amazing. We had the best time. I'm going to need to sleep for two days. 100%. And we still have, at the time of this recording, we still have Heather McDonald's Don't show to go to. <laughs> I'm thinking we may have overbooked ourselves. A little bit. Yeah. But see, you don't have to put on heels. But I might. Promise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting in my hair, one hair extension, and I'm and putting my And one high heel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear one sneaker and one high heel. You can wear the other one. Oh, man. Well, this has been an incredibly fun weekend, I, Melissa. Thank you so much for just inviting me, letting me tag along for your wild adventures. Thank you for coming with me. And now it's like our annual. Uh, we have to. Yeah, this is going to be our annual BravoCon pilgrimage. A hundred percent. And. It's like, how do we step it up for next year? Because we need more, more free shit. And hopefully people won't get, catch on. That's the thing. It's like, if this becomes a thing, we're going to need to wear costumes. But I think we need to call the powers that be at Bravo and get them in on it. Mm, I kind of like, I I like this. We, we should call all of our friends. At Bravo. And be like, <laughs> we want to go undercover. Hey, Andy. Uh, we like doing getting free stuff. We do. So how do we do this again? Yes, how do we do this again? Sanctioned, but not sanctioned. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. Well, this has been- A blast. The group text Hollywood Raw combo podcast extraordinaire. I don't know how to call it. Our our adventures at BravoCon. So make sure you guys are following us on all of our social media platforms. Yours is uh, Melissa Rivers Official yes, on Melissa Instagram. Rivers official. I'm Dax Holt on Instagram. We have posted all the content. By the time this releases, I did put up like uh, one of those little stories or features. Yeah, we whatever. put up a couple too. So they'll be up there long term if you guys want to go back and look yep. at all of the craziness that we did this week. And then we're going to still be releasing all kinds of fun Content stuff. Content continuously, but you know. From all the interviews that we did, oh, we did the a red ton carpets, of interviews, fashion nonstop. content. We got so much. We've got so much. We're so, so exhausted. You know, but it, it's kind of like one of those things. Like we'll we'll regroup on Tuesday and start planning next year's. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, guys? If you like that video, there's plenty more that came from. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, so we can just feed you all the goodness daily. Hurry up! Come on, let's go.